guys were pressed and uh, ready to roll again here? Uh, I hope so. You know, we'll see tomorrow. Um, be a good game. Um, you know, we played a couple times. The Clippers, speaking of, uh, so I'm sure they, you know, they're trying to get, they want to get this win. You know, they've had a break too, so uh, it'll be good for us to get back in the rhythm. How rejuvenated do you feel having the break? Um, I don't, and it felt like a break. It was pretty fast, so um, it felt like just still in uh, season mode, uh, which could be a good thing, so that's what I'm hoping for. Do you get a sense that Zaza and David are close uh, to being right back in the mix? Uh, I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Um, you know, Zaza's been stable for us. He's been consistent. You know exactly what you're going to get from him every night. and. Um, that doesn't show up on the stat sheet consistency in the force. Uh, so we're really looking forward to him. And um, David West, the same. I feel like he was really finding his groove within the offense. We were we were uh, picking up on his game as well, uh, especially with his passing ability um, and some of his veteran uh, leadership and, uh, you know, his gamesmanship he had out there. So looking forward to both of those guys getting back. Uh, the, the conversation at the start of the season, all these new faces help keep it fresh because you've already been to finals back to back. Um, now that it's the downhill portion of the season, is there any extra, is it good to finally be here? Um, our schedule is a little funky. It's been funky all year. Um, I mean, we're right back into, I think it's like five and seven, five games, seven days. And, and uh, I think that's like the next two weeks, we got a, a game stacked on top of each other. So we're going to need our depth. We're going to need guys ready. Uh, so it was good to uh, get everybody some, uh, some nice run today in practice. And now that it moves so fast, too, you know, is there more urgency? You think you'll let leads up as less now? Well, I mean, you never try to let them up, period, you know, whether it be game one or 82. So um, you, you want to improve throughout the year. Um, you want to build chemistry throughout the year. Uh, that's part of it. And like I said, that's a part of the bench as well. And uh, when we're in there with leads, we want to build up on the leads, not just relying on it. You know the main guys or that last lineup to uh, finish the game or, or have to save it if we let up on the lead. What was your, re your initial reaction? Cousins trade? Yeah. yeah. How it changes the no Um. That's an unusual combination of No, I think they'll be really. It'll be a pretty good team. You know, you got two uh, two franchise guys on one team, um, and they both went to the same college. So it'll be interesting to see how that works out. But um, you know. Uh, Everybody's going to be watching them, so I'm sure I get enough information from you guys on, on how they're doing and, and how they're uh, playing together. How has the bench grown from the beginning of the season to now in the best way? Yeah, so like I said, like David West has been a big part of the bench, um, and, and we've grown a lot with him being out there. Uh, he's, he's making a lot of plays uh, that we didn't know he was capable of making, especially from uh, being a facilitator. Um, Ian's had his up and downs, but he's weathered them really well, um, and I feel like uh, he's got his rhythm back. Uh, Patrick McCall, uh, you know, we're steady looking forward to him. Uh, you know, I think he hit his wall, and I think he's coming out of it. Uh, but with him, the wall won't affect him as much because he's a smart player and he knows how to play the game, and he's a defensive guy. Um, really happy the way uh, McAdoo's been playing uh, the last couple weeks. He's got an opportunity to get out there with uh, a couple injuries, and he's got back to his natural position, which is at the four. Um, and he's playing to his strengths, which has been really well. So we got a lot of guys with confidence. What about you and Sean? Uh, you know, we're just the, the, the older guys. We, we just try to keep it simple, uh, try to take as much pressure off the team and ourselves, especially our knees. And uh, we're just trying to keep, uh, keep getting wins, play safe, and uh, make it to the season, end of the year healthy with a championship and a uh, fresh contract. Are there things you, <laughs> are there things you, have, you guys have to improve on in the second half? Uh, you really need to yeah, we got it. We got We definitely got to You got to do that on uh, every aspect of the game. Uh, you know, we talk about finishing games, uh, knowing what sets we want to go to, um, and getting through all our options with our sets. We can still expand upon our offense. People forget we got a lot of new guys that are in year one of the offense, and we always say year two is when uh, it really comes together. So we're still a work in progress offensively, and uh, def defensively we can get better as well. Um, we just got to continue. to pick up on communications, uh, our own tendencies with each individual and how I can work in the whole. What do you think of your agent going to the Lakers? Um, I think it's good for the Lakers. Yeah, I think he'll turn it around and get it right uh, with the group that he's with. Um, I think they got a solid core of, of uh, basketball minds and uh, business minds that uh, bring together. Kind of interesting how they're copying the word in some ways. I mean, took Walton and then they hired an agent. 
Uh, yeah, I never thought about it like that. Uh, but Luke was a Lakers guy, right. and uh, Rob is a Lakers guy. I would say, with being with Kobe, uh, with the Kobe uh, relationship there. So, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of like a college going back to the roots. The Lakers are kind of doing the same, especially with bringing Magic in too. Andre, when you say when you say building chemistry throughout the year, um, how do you guys continue to do that? I mean, where do you feel you are? at this stage um, in building chemistry? Well, you're going to build it, um, you know, with new guys, the more you play with them. So experience is the biggest part of building chemistry and uh, just weather and storms builds chemistry and, you know, adversity builds chemistry. Um, so, you know, the season's long and you're going to have all types of uh, ups and downs and uh, that's where you build it uh, the most. And then off the court playing rides, uh, you know, I think even when you play with teammates for you know seven eight years you're still building throughout that time and, and you learn you continue to learn about each other you just got to understand that that's part of the process and you got to want to learn from one another where has Kevin Durant been most impactful on defense and has any of his defense this year been a little surprising I don't think it's been surprising because we you know he did a uh, he, was, he was a force when we played him in the playoffs last year he, he was a force defensively uh, maybe some people didn't see it but uh his length, um, shot blocking ability, especially on the breaks, uh, you know, causes some havoc uh, on the perimeter as well. You know, when you got a guy seven foot with a seven three wingspan, he can cover a lot of ground. He can, uh, you know, uh, deflect passes. Uh, he can disrupt the flow of the offense. So uh, when he's locked in, he's pretty good at that. What do you guys like to do on the plane rides? Um, I don't know, chatter, just talk. Draymond usually talks a lot. Um, I don't know. I have a lot of really in-depth conversations with JaVale McGee. Yeah. About life? About, about life, yeah. Okay. What does about. he like to talk about? Secret stuff. Yeah, we're building an empire. 